Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to get some more steering angle on your car in Forza Horizon 3. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm driving my BMW M3 Horizon Edition car right now. We're going to be showing you how to get some more steering angle. So let's get right into it. So first you need to pick a car. You need to pick a car that has a wide body kit, preferably this car, the M3 1997. Or you could pick a different car like um, the... I know, I think the Lexus RCF uses it, and the GTR, the 09 GTR uses it, or whatever, the newer, the newer, but not the 2017 GTR, and I'm pretty sure that's the only, the only two cars that you can get this cool glitch to happen to, so let's, let's actually bu go buy, let's go buy a car, what car you guys want to pick, I know you can't hear, or I, you can't talk to me right now, but I feel like you guys really want to see the GTR. First, I have to find the GTR. There's the GTR, the 2012 GTR Black Black Edition. Here we go. Let's get right into that. Woo! All right. Picking our color. Nobody cares about the color. We're doing it white. Buy the car. $105,000. Who cares? Here we go. Here we go. Saving content. Please do not turn off console. Or console. Sorry, my bad. Why would we turn off our console? I mean, like... Yeah, I just want to stop playing the game right now. All right, here we go. Here is the car. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So what we got to do is we got to go in here. We got to put on the body kit. We be like, oh, yeah, that's a nice body kit right there. All right. So then you, you back up and install the setup, okay? This is how you install the setup right here. All right. You do the glitch. Well, not, not, it's not even a glitch right now, but you do the, uh, you, you install the setup, you go back, you click on this, it has to be this one, this little, this little, uh, this little wrench and the screwdriver, it can't be this one, it can't be that one, it has to be the one on the front left quarter panel, and so you go into here, you go on the body kits again, and then you go back to, you just equip this one, okay, equip the stock body, so click it A, and then, you're here again, right? You press B, and then you press Abandon Setup. I'm pretty sure if you guys want to come here, you've already seen this before. But after I abandon the setup, here you click this one again, and it shows us the front bumper option. Now, with this front bumper option, you get this. Did you realize what just happened there? Look at that. Look at the tire. Look at that tire. Look at that tire right there. Look at that tire. Look at how far it's sticking out. You know what that is good for? It's good for steering angle. See, now we put, we, I don't care. I'm just going to keep it stock. Oh, never mind. One second, one second. I'm going to put this on. And then, see, you install the setup. You press A to install the setup. And then it's going to, I'm pretty, it's going to glitch back. And you guys will be like, oh, it didn't work, dude. What a liar. Oh. Well, what you do is you just go back in. You click on this, you click on the stock body again, and then you just press B and abandon the setup, and it's there. Boom. Look at that. We already did it. Video's over. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to show you guys what it's like to actually drive it. So uh, let's pick a pair of rims, blah, blah, blah. These ones? Yeah, totally. I love those, dude. Uh, let's just pick. Oh, my God. You try to be quick with rims, but none of them look good until you find that one, right? Those look absolutely terrible. Okay, I guess we are going to go with these. Awesome. Boom. Install the setup. Boom. All right. Now we're just wasting time. I'm going to get you guys back outside. Once I'm done upgrading this vehicle, all I'm going to really do is lower the car, and then, like, that's really it because you don't really need performance options right now. You guys can do it, but I'm just not going to do it just to save time. But I'll see you guys outside. All right, guys, so here is the car right here. As you can see, you do still have that tire gap. I put a little bit of camber on the car to make it easier to drift. But as you can see, when I, when I steer, when I steer back to control the car, look at that. Look at how much angle you get. I know you guys would probably be like, oh, but when you put on the wide body, it gives you the same amount of angle. 
it actually does it. This does give you more. I, I tested it. Trust me. So here it is. Look at that. Look at how much you can... Oh, there's the train. I love trains. Here, ready? Let's go. Yeah, let's race the train. Ready? Here we go. We're going to start from a stop. Boom. All right. We're not even going to... Nope. It's never going to pass us. It's never going to 100% completely pass us because the GTR is too good. All right. So right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some drifting. I'm going to try and hold the angle like this, and we're going to do some drifting to show you how, how much the uh, tire angle is. So uh, let's get right into that. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that angle right there. Boom. Boom. Look at that angle. That is so much angle. It is so much easier to drift. Trust me, guys. Once you do this glitch, it is so much easier to drift. I'll show you it after I'm done with this car. I'll show you it on a couple other cars like the BMW that I had in the beginning. It, that had it. You guys didn't probably see it because I didn't point it out to you. But I'll show you once again. Once, Let me just do this turn real quick so you guys can see it. Look how much angle that is right there. It's like 90 degrees. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that much. But uh, here we go. Let's show you guys the BMW real quick. This Doing this to your cars, actually, it, it not actually, it also adds a, like, rareness factor. Like, once they patch this glitch, which they probably are in the next update, so you guys better do it soon if you want one of these cars. Um, once they patch this glitch, not, nobody's going to be able to have one of these, right? So here it is. Here's the BMW. See that tire gap right there? Boom. Look at how much look at how much turning that is. Look at how much turning that is. That is crazy, dude. Like, look how much my wheels turn. That is just amazing, dude. Just just look at it. Just would you just look at it? M -m -m money shot. There we go, baby. Whoa! Alright. So let's do some drifting. Let's go to my favorite spot in the world. That's not my favorite spot. This is my favorite spot in the world. Right here, this downhill drift zone is the best spot in the game. No argument. If you guys want to comment down below what you get, what you think is the best spot in the game, you can comment that. But either way, it will not change my opinion because this spot is just too good. Now look at that angle. Just one more time. Look at that angle. Look at that angle. I know it kind of looks gay because it rubs, but uh, hey, who cares? All right, so let's get right into this drifting right here. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. There we go. Yep, yep, there we go. Yep, look at how good it is. Look at that steering angle right there. Look at that steering angle right there. Oh, baby. Reel her back in. Reel her back in. There we go. There we go. We got a hundred thousand hunter banger right there. All right. All right. There we go. We got about a hundred and twenty-three thousand points. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this steering angle right here. One second more, guys. Look at this. Boom. Look at that steering angle. You guys can literally pull out of any turn with this steering angle. This car works a lot better than the GTR. But this is personally my favorite drift car now, just because you can do this glitch. This glitch is so helpful. It creates such, like, you barely even have to go full lock because it's just so much angle. Like, it's you don't even have to use that much angle. It's just too much. But no angle is ever too much. So, here we go. Let's drift one more time. Let's see what, let's see what we can get high score. We got 120,000 points on that last high score. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to come in with a little bit more speed. Got to weave around a couple cars. Look at that, look at that point, look at that bank of points we got right there. 50,000 points, look at that. Alright, stupid, oh my gosh. Wow, we come in with all that speed and those cars just mess it up. Alright, we gotta, we gotta make it up though, we gotta make it up. There we go, downshift, there we go, there we go, there we go. Rev it up, rev it up, shift into third, boom, 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 boom. Pull it back, that steering angle helped us right there. Look at this. 60,000 points, 70,000 points, 80,000 points, reverse entry almost. We've spun out though. Hey man, I mean, you can't you can't you can't win the drifts all the times. I mean, I did get I think when this first, when this game first came out, I got 12th on that drift zone. 12th out of 72,000 people. 12th. I'm amazing. No, but uh this is going to be it. I don't think there's only, like, a couple cars that you can do this with, guys. So, I mean, like, if you want to do it, go ahead. 
you don't have to give me credit. Like, yeah, sure, you could, but I, I'm not the one that actually found this out. But uh, either way, guys, that is going to be the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.